COVID to MPOX, why Africa must build its own medical industry now. Hello and welcome. I am Afmea Yale and you're watching News Analytica. The ongoing MPOX outbreak has once again highlighted Africa's reliance on foreign countries for essential medical supplies. With nations like Japan and Denmark controlling vaccine production, the supply to African countries has been slow and limited. The Democratic Republic of Congo finds itself at the center of the outbreak, yet vaccines arrive only through donations, mirroring the situation African nations faced during the COVID-19 pandemic. Back then, while their nations monopolized vaccine supplies through vaccine nationalism, leaving African countries waiting for subsidized doses that arrived far too late for many. Meanwhile, the general demand for medicines across the continent continues to outweigh supply, with Africa producing less than 2% of the vaccines it needs. This shortfall begs the question, why has Africa's medical sector failed to develop over the decades? In this episode, we will explore the continent's critical need for a self-reliant medical industry and the repercussions of its ongoing dependency. The MPOX outbreak, which has resulted in more than 20,000 cases and over 500 deaths across Africa in 2024 alone, has once again brought to light the continent's continued struggle to control its own health security. DRC recently received doses from the EU and USA, but significant delays from promised donations such as those from Japan exposed the precarious situation. This dilemma is painfully reminiscent of the COVID-19 pandemic. At the time, while the nations bought up the majority of the vaccine stocks, prioritizing their populations at the expense of poorer nations. The vaccine nationalism exasperated health inequities. African nations had to wait months for vaccines through initiatives like COVAX, which although well-intentioned, failed to meet its goals due to a shortage of available doses. Many African countries ended up paying for less effective vaccines, further highlighting the imbalance in global health resource distribution. The COVID-19 pandemic was not just a wake-up call for the global community, but a stark reminder of Africa's systemic vulnerabilities in the healthcare sector. Africa, home to over 1.4 billion people, remains heavily dependent on external suppliers for life-saving medicines and vaccines. Currently, Africa produces less than 2% of its vaccines locally, leaving the continent vulnerable to prolonged outbreaks and health crises. Institutions such as the African Population and Health Research Center have been pushing for more Africa-focused research and development. Their aim is to address the continent's most pressing health challenges, which have often been overlooked by foreign pharmaceutical companies whose research efforts typically prioritize the needs of their own population. This brings us to the key point of today's analysis. Despite advancements in global medicine, the medical industry has failed to evolve in any meaningful way for African countries. For more than a century, Africa has relied on donations and purchases from wealthier nations to combat its most urgent health crisis. The current MPOX outbreak, the COVID-19 pandemic, and the continent's inability to address diseases like malaria, tuberculosis, and HIV AIDS illustrate just how dependent African countries remain on others for life-saving treatments. The critical issue here is not just the shortage of vaccines or treatments, but the deeper problem of Africa's lack of control over its medical research and manufacturing sectors. Without the ability to produce its own medicines, Africa will always be vulnerable in times of global health emergencies. This dependency places the continent in a precarious position where it cannot adequately respond to crises that disproportionately affect its population. Recognizing this gap, the African Union, alongside organizations like the African CDC, has set ambitious goals to transform the continent's healthcare industry. By 2040, Africa aims to produce 60% of the vaccine it needs, a significant leap from the current 2%. Countries like Kenya, South Africa, and Senegal are leading the change with new vaccine manufacturing facilities underway. However, these initiatives face considerable hurdles from securing financing to overcoming technical challenges and building regulatory frameworks that meet international standards. In addition to manufacturing, investment in local research and development is crucial. African scientists must be at the forefront of finding solutions to the continent's unique health challenges. 
In this regard, the African Population and Health Research Center has been spearheading efforts to increase the continent's scientific output, ensuring that the research being conducted is directly relevant to Africa's needs. In the long run, Africa's path forward is clear. The continent must move beyond reliance on foreign-made medicines and vaccines. and must build a self-reliant medical industry tailored to its own healthcare needs. The lessons from the COVID pandemic and the ongoing MPOX outbreak are too painful to ignore. Without this transformation, Africa will remain at the mercy of the global healthcare system when the next health crisis strikes. That is all for today. Thank you very much for watching and make sure you join us again tomorrow for another edition of News Analytica.